When you're starting out with Notion, it can be kind of overwhelming. There's millions of templates out there, complex formulas, and things that if you let it can just bog you down and stop you from realizing the practicality of Notion as an all-in-one productivity system. In this video, I'm gonna teach you five basic skills that you should really have in your arsenal to get the most out of Notion. And these are skills that I just wish I'd had when I'd first started out. I'm going to make this very short and snappy, but if you want more detailed explanation, I've actually put together a five day email course that is going to go through each of these principles along with examples and homeworks. So check that out in the description. Like I say, it's completely free and hopefully will provide a bit of value to you. If you're new to the channel, by the way, my name's Tom. Here we talk about how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you're going to be notified when I release new weekly videos. When I first started Notion, my system looked something like this. It might seem like it's doing the job all right, but it was far from optimal. Now my system looks something more like this, much more clean and tidy. The mindset shift that led to this new way of working was thinking about everything in Notion as a database rather than a page. When you first get started out, it's so easy to just start adding pages absolutely everywhere. And in a short space of time, you've got this unmanageable mess of hundreds of different pages, none of them linked together. And when you start thinking about things in terms of tables and in terms of databases and pages within those databases, it starts to make things a lot cleaner. Now the best example of this is having a master task database and they're quite easy to set up. Just go into your current Notion setup and try and think about all the different things that you have that could actually be tasks. For me, this was things like critiques, journaling, workouts, reflections, all of these different tasks that I was putting into Notion, I just took them and put them into a single database. And I'd highly advise that you do the same and just get into this mentality of whenever you create a new page, think about how could this already belong in an existing database that I've created. Next up, we have a biggie and that's linked databases. Now, if you've come to Notion from a tool like I did, such as Jira or another project management tool, you might be initially really put off by the lack of hierarchy that you have in Notion. So let's just make this point through an example. Let's say that you want to create a task, which is to clean your room. And then within that have a load of different subtasks, for example, changing your bed, mopping the floor, cleaning the bathroom, all these types of things that make up the overall task of having a room cleaned. Now, this is fairly easy to implement with checkboxes, but what happens when you wanna have another level of hierarchy above that? What if, for example, you want a task which is to clean your house and cleaning your room is one of the tasks that make up that whole task of cleaning your house? This is where linked databases really come into their own because what you can do is create a database which is projects, create a separate database which is tasks and link those two together so you do have that hierarchy of tables and databases which which means that you can plan projects in a much more effective way. So that's the second tip that you really need to master, learning how to relate databases in Notion. I've got a whole video that you can explore to check that out, but learning this simple skill is gonna make Notion 10 times more productive for you, I can guarantee it. Tip number three is the importance of spinning out views. And I'd argue this is really a skill that you need to master if you're gonna get the best out of Notion, especially if you're already applying principle one, which is using databases over pages. Now, one of the immediate problems that will begin to arise when you minimize your databases is just being able to see everything that you want in one place. So let's say you have that master task database set up, but you wanna see all of your journal entries. You wanna see what's being done today. You wanna see how your habit tracker is going. Now there's two ways that you can do this. One way I call the pleb way and the other way is spinning out views. Now the pleb way is just to use Notion's inbuilt view feature where you add new views and you cycle between them. Now the drawback of this is that it just takes a lot of time. Like who can really be asked faffing around, clicking in a database, clicking on the different views, seeing the status of individual things. It's really not that great. The better thing to do is to actually copy and paste a database as a linked database and then have the new view set up. 
Now the beauty of this is that both of those databases are going to be linked together. Any update you make in one is going to be reflected in the other, but you can easily see both of them side by side. So I could see, for example, all the tasks that I want to do today right next door to the tasks that I've got planned in the week. And this is just so much better than flicking between those views, much better user experience. So I'd highly recommend that if you want to get the most out of Notion, really get comfortable with spinning out views. The fourth principle that I think is so important for new Notion users especially is to really be thinking in an iterative way about your systems. Now, when I talk about iterative thinking, what I mean is that we don't try and build the absolute best in class uh, sort of problem solving machine for us straight away. We just start off with something really basic, something really simple that solves our needs. So say for example, you wanna do a weekly planner. Maybe the first thing that you do is literally just make a calendar view and then start writing in your tasks in that calendar. You don't need anything more complex than that. And then when new problems arise, you just address them one at a time by slowly iterating on your system, making it better and better. It's one of the traps that I really fell in when I first started using Notion is I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna spend hours making this absolutely perfect system where I'm gonna copy someone else's template. It really didn't work for me. I just got overwhelmed and I ended up building a system that didn't really work. One of the ways that you can force yourself to think iteratively is literally to time box yourself, say 10 or 15 minutes to build a certain system in Notion to solve your needs. If you wanna create that weekly plan and say, what's the best I can do in 10 minutes? If you wanna create a system for tracking projects, think to yourself, I've got 10 minutes to do this, what can I put in place? And this will just help you really focus in on the things that matter and forget about the things that don't. A highly functional dashboard means that all of your information is at your fingertips. A highly functional dashboard means there's no friction between you and getting things done. A highly functional dashboard makes Notion a joy to use. But what makes a good dashboard? Well, there's no blueprint for this. There's only really guiding principles that I can provide for you that I've taken from experience working as a product manager and also just generally using Notion a hell of a lot. Now, this video has already gone a little bit longer than I was expecting, so I'm not gonna share them here. I might make a separate video on that because it's quite an involved topic that requires a bit of thought. Or if you just wanna find out about them straight away, get the email course and that's gonna be delivered to you over the next five days with all these principles a bit more in depth. So thanks a lot for sticking around. I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that you've taken something away from it and understanding that Notion isn't just about learning cool templates to make and cool sort of systems, but really understanding the basic principles that mean that using Notion is gonna be a joy for you. So thanks a lot again. I'm gonna leave a video here for you to check out if you enjoyed this and enjoy the rest of your day.